Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they play out live. Market opens up here in less than two minutes. Uh, what I want to do here is just uh, show you kind of how the chat room works, what I'm thinking. But I posted this image in the chat room, and let me bring down the actual chart. So this is what I took a screenshot of, this bearish pattern right here. So what you're looking at is here. And then, of course, I drew out the pattern over there, and I, it's posted in the chat room. Uh, and if you're not familiar, I do offer a private trading community. So this is, you know, trying to document my thought process for the trade, but also just give you an idea of how the chat room uh, works. So that is definitely going to be my number one candidate right now, seeing how the price wants to react, uh, you know, with this uh, bearish pattern that has taken shape here. So watching right around 38, 40 ish, 38, 35 ish, hard to say right now because, you know, it, it's still pre market. And I should say this is live in the sense of you're getting my raw thoughts, my raw emotions as things occur. So this is not like everything's already been recorded. And then I come back and talk about it and do a post commentary. You are getting my play by play. So uh, yeah, at some times it'll be unprofessional. At times I'll be you know stumbling over my words, maybe just thinking because yeah, I'm trying to trade. Okay, there we go. Markets are open. Trying to trade, trying to analyze, trying to make alerts all at the same time. So yeah, right around 38, 38, 40 is an interesting level if it wants to get down there. Again, based on that pattern, let's actually get this to, there we go. So as of now, the price is bouncing though, actually. So that's good. Got a bit of a, oh wow, bit of a delay. I'm not gonna take this on the first minute though. That could cost me, <clears throat> might leave me in its dust. But like I said, I don't wanna take this on the first candle. And as of right now, looking like uh, that is going to cost me. Oh wow, look at that. Well, there goes the bearish breakdown of that pattern. Uh, so any members that ultimately did take that, congratulations. You played it differently than I did. I played it wrong, you played it correctly. Uh, and that's just sometimes how it goes. But um, yeah, for all you members out there that took that, uh, well done. Way to play the breakdown. Like I said, I wanted to see it show a little bit of strength first, but I chose poorly, I, I chose wrong. And that's, that's gonna happen. Not the first time, certainly won't be the last. But still gonna watch this. I said, I'd be interested if this thing wants to bounce back upwards, show me some strength, and then potentially roll back over. But as of right now, it seems like all it wants to do is drop. And again, that was uh, you know the pattern right there. That lower spot right here has now been violated to the downside. All right, well, I will go ahead and pause, and if something new comes about, then um, I'll get the video rolling. All right, have an order at 38.15 to try to play a back test here. NKLA is now officially bouncing. So seeing if I can get in here at 38.15. Well, it went up there and failed, so at this point, I'm gonna go up there to 38.45. So 38.45, now the area that I'm looking to play a back test on. So I like to see this showing me some strength. So I'm actually gonna get this alerted now. Dead cat. Let's see what is the low of that. Low is at 38.10. So let's see if this thing can maintain above 38 here a little bit. Come on, keep bouncing, keep bouncing. So we're gonna get rid of th that. Well, my charting is delayed right now. E signal is delayed. Oh yeah, 38. No, don't break below 38 here. And it did. Yeah, see this, this is delayed. This candle's gonna go red. And the reason I was know it was gonna be able to go red is because the price action over here is uh, real time and this has a slight delay. And e-signal, what is your problem? Not a good sign, e-signal. 
especially when I pay over $1,200 per year for you, eSignal. Well, let's see, what is this, 37? Wanna see a bounce up, and then if it comes back down, I like 37.65-ish. In fact, I should get this NKLA 37 flush point one minute. So there we go. We'll see if this one thing wants to come back down to that 37.65-ish area, 37.65, and if it does, fantastic. Especially now, good, good solid bounce here, fantastic. All right, well, I will go ahead and pause and not, I mean, I suppose there's stuff moving out there, but a lot of stuff is just choppy right now. Tesla, which I've been trading quite a bit in the past, just very choppy. Um, and it was looking like there was gonna be a lot of opportunity, which is why I got the video going. Granted, I guess NKLA play, you know, was a fantastic move, really. Okay, low of 38.25. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust that up there to 38.25. If this wants to come back down, I'll get that updated here in the chat room too. Update 38.25. So there we go, now the community is working, or aware of 38.25, but this thing just continues to bounce here. So maybe even uh, might need to be adjusted again as this thing continues to grind higher and higher. But just waiting for it to potentially show some signs of weakness right now, not showing much. And I have to use level twos because like I said, the chart is still, or did it catch up? It might've caught up. Okay, what is that low? 38.82. So 3880 is now going to be the newest. Going to get that updated again here. Update 3880. So we'll see if it wants to come down to that area. And just looking for some sort of sign of weakness here. But this thing just wants to keep on grinding. Which, you know, I'm not going to complain about per se. All righty. So let's see it get up above 39.50 some more. Would love to see it hit 40 and then come back down here through 39.50 ish area. But as of right now, is this thing just gonna roll right back over on me? I hope not, or else <laughs> it'll be eight minutes into the video with no trade. Come on. Well, this is not setting up like I wanted to see it set up. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna take 38.80 now if it were to fall all the way down and break it on this candle. Maybe it'll bounce back upwards. All right, well, I am definitely gonna pause now. I mean, we're almost at 10 minutes in and haven't even taken a trade. But I, I guess this is still good stuff. Again, raw. Trading, this is how things play out. Sometimes you just watch and watch and watch and then the thing just isn't quite cooperating. Yep, I, I just, I don't like this setup now. I wanted it to keep going up. Pen though, looking pretty interesting. Oh wow. Okay, what is that low? 64.85. Very strong stock. But yeah, 64.85 looks like a uh, Point where if it breaks down through there, might need a bit of a pullback here. 485. Oh, it just broke down. See, yeah, this is it's. I'm, I'm watching the chart because I'm used to watching the chart, but it's delayed. So it's already now the candle's looking over here. So it's already been broken down below. So it's just. I don't know. Maybe I might not. Maybe I shouldn't trade here if this thing can't catch up. But this is just very frustrating. Okay, well, NKLA. Back to maybe doing another setup here. All right, I will pause at this point. 
All right, I am watching 40 here. In at 40.09, I think this thing wants to come down, and it is coming down. Let's see if we can get some more push down through that area, though. So got in at 40.09. Like I said, I think this thing wants to, I'm not necessarily saying crash, but at least come down a bit more here. So let's see if we can get that breakdown through 40 again. There we go. 39.80 is gonna be a stubborn area though. So that looks like that's gonna be the actual crucial break point is 39.80 for this to get more downside momentum. There we go, ah, kind of. Very temporarily, then it snapped right back above 39.80. See, 39.80 over here, watch this. It's gotten below it a couple of times, but then it just won't stay below it. There we go, can it get actually some more follow through? So all out there at 39.50, fantastic, $295 on that scalp. And over here you can see that it was updated. I don't think I mentioned it in the video audibly, but right there you can see that I put the new flush point at $40. Flush, of course, meaning, well, what direction do you hear? Think of when you hear flush, down. And for you uh, beginner traders out there, you can make money when prices go down. As you saw there, it's called going short, shorting a stock. And yeah, I should have probably scaled out. Of course, I'm speaking in hindsight now. But overall, there we go, $40, $40 flush point. I took it, anticipated the break, and uh, now $295, so not bad. Took a while to, to find something, but uh, you know it's only uh, 9.43, so the markets have been open less than 15 minutes. I'm up $295, I'm happy with that. Let's see if I can find another trade. Totally hindsight trading right now, but now check out where NKL is. Not that I would still be holding, but down in the 3860s now. Um, so again, for any of you members that watch these live trade videos, which I know a lot of you do, um, congratulations if you got up or in around 40 and uh, played it a little bit differently than I did. Uh, you are now up uh, way more than I, wa I, I made on it. So yeah, well done, congratulations. Well, it's a little update, it's probably been, um 10, 10-ish minutes or so since uh, the last time I got the video rolling. And it's not like sometimes, you know, in, in other videos, if you watch them, I'll, I'll make comments of, yeah, you know, I went out to, you know, hang out with my kids or just do something, so I haven't been really paying attention. But no, in this situation, I, I've definitely been paying attention. And they're just, I mean, there seems to be opportunities, but a lot of things are just kind of choppiness. Meaning, I mean, you look down here, and the volume is just, it's not quite there. I mean, yeah, that's a good looking move, but it's a move that would be very difficult to play when you actually factor in the reality of volume. Um, and a lot of other you know, stocks out there are looking like, even NKLA, let's go back to this one. Yeah, I mean, the, the rain, the, it just has, has tightened up quite a bit. So I mean, I, I get it in hindsight trading, it's easy to say, oh yeah, you could have bought right there and then you could have shorted and went back down there. I, well, yes, I get that in hindsight, but you know, the reality of the matter is it's just really tightened down. The volume is really dropped off. And I mean, it's not even, t I mean, it's almost 10, but I mean, even usually the market stays solid for at least an hour-ish or so. Uh, so I guess this is kind of my long way of just talking out loud um, that I may just have to call it a day. I don't really want to. I don't have anything really planned that I need to do or want to do. But sometimes, just because you have the time to trade doesn't mean you should actually be trading. And I feel like we're kind of entering into that type of trading environment right now. Um, and you know, when I, I remember getting new and just starting, uh, you know, it was like, well, I have the time to trade, so I, I I want to be trading. I need to be trading, and that's where I always got myself into a lot of a lot of annoying and headache situations because, again, just because you have the time to trade doesn't mean that you should actually be trading. And that's just the vibe I'm getting. I mean, even Boeing, like what is going? I mean, just, so let's bring up, I mean, look at this volume, just so choppy and low and I get it. It's easy in hindsight to say, oh Clay, you could have bought that breakout, boom. And then you could have shorted right there and boom. But again, all hindsight trading and just, 
and maybe you're watching this saying, oh, Clay, I, this is like my exact perfect environment. I love, I love what you're describing is what I love to see. And awesome, that, that's fantastic for you. And that is, would be a perfect illustration of why trading is different for everybody. We all have different personalities. We all have different personal risk tolerance levels. Uh, so we're all gonna see things differently. We're all gonna you know, feel differently about markets. Um, but yeah, as of right now, I'm just, uh, I'm just not necessarily feeling it. And it, it's not like I, I need to be trading anyways. I mean, I, I'm still up just shy of $300. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna scoff and I'm not gonna be a greedy savage and be ungrateful for making $300 in 30 minutes. I mean, that's still basically $100 every 10 minutes. But like I said, I'll, I'll give it a little bit more time because like I, I don't have anything else I need to be doing right now. Um, but yeah, I'm certainly not gonna force anything, but I'll, I'll look around a little bit more. I have an order at 82.35, 100 shares. Actually, why don't I just show you this on my screen for those of you maybe not familiar. So OSTK, I wanna go short, hence the SSL at 82.35, 100 shares. Uh, I want more than 100 shares, but for the reasons discussed, kinda choppy out there, kind of unsure, so I just wanna more so tiptoe with this one. So I'll just start off with 100 shares, but it's gotta get up and fill me relatively soon at 82.35. I don't want some sort of slow, methodical move to get up there and fill me. And as of now, so that's what I mean by choppy. Like it's just, it was flowing and all of a sudden, look how choppy, it's all of a sudden all the way down here. So at this point, never mind. I'm just gonna cancel that out. And with that, I'm taking it as um, the signal that just be done for the day, Clay. Uh, so yeah, it's 10.06, so 36 minutes in. I still have time to be trading right now, but again, goes back to the little miniature lesson. Just because you have the time to trade doesn't mean you should actually be trading. If there's nothing out there that's really fitting your, your criteria and your environment and you know the, the rules of your strategy. Now, if you're sitting there saying, well, I mean, I, I guess I don't really have an environment. What do you mean by environment? What do you mean by rules? What do you mean by strategy? I just follow what other people say to do. Well, at that point, I'd encourage you to maybe reassess your game plan because I, I get it, that can work every now and then, but if you are if you wanna be in this for a, a long-term consistency perspective, then uh, yeah, you're gonna need to find something that works for you. And like I said, for, at, at this point, uh, OSTK, as you just saw, was kind of the nice little cherry on top that, yeah, I think uh, for whatever reason, it's kind of bizarre, but I don't know, it's just, it is what it is. Now, if you're interested in joining me and getting those alerts that you saw here, so that, like I said, that first one on NKLA, it left me behind, but members, they saw the pattern, they could have done very well on it. But then you saw that $40 alert that I made, which worked out very nicely for me. So if you want those same types of alerts, then just go to claytrader.com forward slash team. And really the way to approach that is, it's $99 for three months. So not $99 per month, $99 for three months which breaks down to $8.25 per week. So the question really just becomes, do I believe if I invest $99, I can get at least $8.25 per week of value? If you think you can get at least $8.25 per week of value, then you'll get a great return on your investment. So consider that. Also a mobile app, so it's not like you have to stay change your computer or anything. As far as this video is concerned, uh, I know it was kind of a slower one, only one trade. But like I said at the beginning, these are live trade videos, so this is just how day trading goes sometimes. Uh, but if you want more exciting ones, quote unquote, then I mean, I offer a playlist on the channel. So go watch those ones. But if you just like these live trade videos in general, a, a very quick, easy, time efficient way to communicate that to me, just please hit that like button. Also comments, questions, suggestions, leave those down below. And then as far as the channel as a, as a whole, check it out. Like I said, a lot of other live trade videos, a, a good variety of videos. So hopefully you like what you see enough to wanna hit that subscribe button. And then again, if you wanna join me and other quality traders, get those alerts, get the watch list that you were seeing here, just go to claytrader.com forward slash team. And uh, hopefully, uh, yeah, you decide to join. But if nothing else, please just hit that like button. Take care, thanks for hanging out. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm gonna to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. 
But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.